Hi, this is Charlie giving you uh, Friday's live trading. I hope you're very well. It is literally 6.59 a.m., 7 a.m. Um, UK time. And I'm looking to go um, put a trade on. I don't know if it's going to work out, um, but I'm just seeing um, something on the dollar CAD. I'll go through it in a, in a second with you, but I want to get the units in first. So I'm just going to get them in. And um, so I'm going short dollar CAD. So I'll get my four units in. Um, there's nothing I need to do as far as spreading the units is concerned today. So I've just gone short dollar CAD there. And what I'm actually going to be doing, is I'm going to put my stop a little bit out of the way. So it's going to stop um, short there at 27. So I'm going to put my stop um, up at about 46 at the moment. Um, just so it's, it's up out of the way a bit because it is early and dollar CAD could, you know, could carry on going up, so I am early. I'm willing to take this um, and just get stopped out here first thing. It's early. I'll take an early stop out, and then if I'm completely wrong, then I'll um, I've still got plenty of time to maybe find another trade here today. And so um, I've just got a, a view on dollar CAD. The, the problem with the dollar CAD, though, overall, is it is a very choppy market. But I've spotted something. I spotted it yesterday or the day before yesterday, and um, and so. I want to see if it's going to play out, and so um, um, so that's why I'm I'm going in there. So if I actually go out to um, a four-hour chart, I don't know if it's going to show on here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, what's actually been happening on this dollar CAD? Um, it's been very choppy. So I'm potentially just going to get chopped up. Or we'll see. But um, the uh, the four-hour 200 is right down here, and as we can see over the last couple of days. Um, this four hour 200 uh, or last few days has been we've been getting close to it coming down close to it coming down close to it and every time um, we turn and then pull off again normally when you get in sort of air kisses of a key support resistance level then um, then the mar a market will eventually want to come back um, down for it so that's essentially what I'm looking for here um, today. I, was, I thought it might be coming down again yesterday to it, um, and it didn't. And so um, we shall see if it's going to do it today. Um, reason I've taken this trade is we are below the. If I bring us back out to the hourly charts, then we are below, currently just about below the um, uh, the, the hourly 21. Um, so we are below some of my um, key moving averages. Um, we've got a little bit of negative momentum on the um, on the hourly, but that's nothing to really shout, um, shout home of at all. And but a little bit on the four hourly as well. So it is, it is only marginal, small amounts. Um, so I am pushing it on this trade. I'm pushing it, but um, but I want to give it. Um, um, a go. Now it could be that I get stopped out here this morning, and then maybe it goes goes for it again later on today. So um, the, the problem can be sometimes when you're trading a market which is sort of range bound, is that you get attracted in again later and it chops again. But um, but I I still have to go with my analysis and what I think is overall going to happen, and and then see from there. So at the moment um, that's where I'm at. I shall press pause, and we'll come back to this later. Right, just back, and you can see that dollar CAD is coming up already, and the risk is that it wants to go up a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hedge in, and so right now, and be willing to take a loss on that hedge. So I've just put a hedge on there, and so let's bring up the account. So instead of putting a stop loss in, what I've done is I've just put a hedge in. Uh, hopefully you can see. I'll bring it all up for now. So here's the short positions I've put in. Here's the four units. And then what I've done is then I've put that four unit as a hedge. So I'm, as you can see, it's showing me now as flat as square. But I'm obviously underwater because the um, it's all, it was already going up. So what I want to do is I'm going to release this hedge if we come back down here. So I'll you know, just take the loss, which will be you know 170 quid or whatever. I'll release the hedge there. But I, I, what I was doing, I was just calculating off screen whether it's worth me doing this. Um, but um, with regards to um, if I release the hedge, I've got to take the loss on the hedge and then just hold on to the position. But the, 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 the potential run is quite far, so the hedge will more than get paid for itself. So that's what I've done at the moment. Now, if it, So if it completely just comes back down here, I'll literally, by the time it comes back down to here, I'll release the hedge. Um, it's just because it started coming up here. It just hit some more resistance on the hourly charts. So um, it may well just want to come down. And that's, that's my preferred scenario, that it actually just, just, it just does come down from here. So... Um, but at the moment, I've just hedged it, so I don't actually have to, at the moment have to put a stop loss in against um, 
it moving up I'll just let it do its thing if it's going to just play around but what I will do is put a stop loss against the hedge um, down here so that um, if it does start to roll over now what would be the um, not a great scenario is that if it comes back down the hedge gets stopped out and then it just goes straight back up again but that's okay because what I will do if it does come straight down I'll then move my stops down on the original positions to whatever the high is so let's you assume that the high was here and that's it and we just we do just come straight back down then um, then I'll put my stops here which will be so much smaller than less than 10 pips um, so in, in overall um, it will mean that um, it won't be much of a um, uh, stop out anyway so that's what I'm going to do there so I'm just going to um, get the stop sorted out on the hedge um, so where do I want that to come in so for now yeah I'll put it in at 26 so let's um, put the stop on the hedge in 132.26 and that's it for now so as you can see the p is not moving at all I shall press pause it's already six minutes in okay just back and as we can see the dollar cat has had a big run up here um, so remember I'm hedged I'm fully hedged so it makes no difference I'm still as we can see here still down 172 pounds because I'm, I'm fully hedged at the moment um, as you can see net square but what I'm actually going to about to do is I'm actually going to it's been coming up and it could just blast through me but I'm gonna put one unit in or one lot in short um, with a stop at the high um, just in case um, I, I'm I am actually right overall we'll see um, probably not but um, so I'm gonna put a one unit short because at the end of the day I can't lose any more than 172 pounds on the trade I'm in anyway and so and if this is going to just roll over if it is going to the trend is up on the intradays normally I would be looking to go long but um, that bigger pattern is still very much at the focus of my mind so I'm looking for us to come up a little bit and um, into the upper band here and I'll um, put a short on put a stop up here just with one yacht like one lot so it'll be about a 10 pip stop it'll be and um, and you never know that might pay towards the hedge um, if it comes all the way down here as well so um, so that's my plan there so I'm just waiting to see if um, that can happen if we can get up that little bit more um, and what could happen obviously overall this might just be a consolidation before it's actually going to go higher again yet um, in which case I'll take the loss on on this one lot trade I don't even have to put this in but I was just looking at it thinking well actually if we do eventually roll over according to my analysis come back down to that 132.30 then this one little one lot trade will um, will pay for the uh, the difference in the hedge so far and um, and so anyway so we'll see so I'm just uh, going to press pause just while I'm waiting to see if this is actually going to um, give me the entry so I'm waiting for it to come up to around about what looks like 132.65 press pause for now okay just back and now we, we are coming up so what actually what I'm going to do is what it's got a nice candle here so um, I might just wait for this candle to um, to complete rather than putting it in just yet so I'll just wait for this candle to complete and um, and then I'll um, and then I'll get it in so I'll just press pause okay just back so it's come back into my band is what I wanted now I just want that little push towards the upper band again here we go and I'll be getting that 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 um, position in so just about there really nearly there nearly there, nearly there. Um, hoping to get 65 still um, so see if it can just get up to the upper band hopefully it can and then I'll hit it And we'll see. I mean, it could just still then just roll up, but um, but uh, we'll just see here. For the sake of ten pips, I'm going to give it a go. If I can get sixty-five, just looking at that chart, I'm looking for it to come up to that upper that upper band again, or roughly, which will be around about sixty-five. So we're about the, nearly there. Go on then okay 65 there we go so just put it in at 65 quickly gonna get a stop in against that because that one could get stopped very quickly so um, just gonna get that stop in at 132.75 okay so let's uh, get rid of this deal ticket let's bring it all up so we can see what's actually happening here so there's all my my, my, my hedge and there's the original four and this is the position now that I've just put in so I'm now net short 100,000, but that's just basically this this um, short here. So I've got the stop at 75, and uh, the target 
Um, I've got a target down at 35 area, um, which is um, uh, an 8 a.m. pivot. So, um, but I, th I think it will get down to there. But but um, if it gets that far, then I'll hold it for 30 anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this as a limit order in against this head on on this um, sorry on this short position down at 132, 13230. Now 132.30 is where that stop is on that hedge look. So what will effectively happen is that will release the hedge down here. But I'll make about 30 points, as we can see, um, on this position. And then I'll be released on the hedge. And then I'll have to then engage a stop loss um, on the re re remaining positions, which I'll then put in a bit later after that. So we shall see. So for now, nothing to do. I've got one lot effectively short um, with a 10 pip stop. Um, if that runs down, great. Um, if it goes up, I, st I lose 10 pips on one lot. And um, But where it's going to get really technical, this trade today, it's a really technical trade today, um, is that once I release the hedge, if it is down at 30, I might still move that yet, that, that hedge. Um, but if, if, it, if it is down at 30, if I leave that, I'm going to go and get myself ready and, and then do some more analysis on, on where to do that then I've got to then put a stop in against um, the, the the positions once I'm um, fully open again, so to speak. So um, it's still going to be interesting. Yeah, I may, I may even completely change this. And if we break down below this low and start getting below this 5 minute 21, may even release the hedge a lot higher up here somewhere and then just pop a stop up here. So um, I've got a bit of um, food for thought at the moment. So I'm going to go and get myself sorted out and take a shower. I'm late getting ready today, and and uh, ponder um, my decision making there and on which way I, I want to go, and um, and then we'll see. But potentially, if this trade works out today, it's probably going to take all day if it is. Um, but if it does work out, it could end up being a, um, a half decent trade overall. So we'll see. I'll press pause for now. Right, just back, and as we can see, the dollar cad has um, pulled off in this past hour since putting that um, extra unit in. But all, like I said, the target down there is at 30, and that's also where the hedge will, will be released. So at the moment, it's still just it's into some support again. So I expect it to hopefully to bounce around a bit. But I've got to go off. I've got to go head, head to the gym for my Friday morning gym session, and so I've got to put orders in. Um, and so what I've actually done now um, is, or what I'm going to do is on the um, that extra position, I'm going to move the stop down to break even on the extra position that I put in short. So I'm actually going to move that stop down to 65 anyway. So so then I can't lose on that now. And if it comes all the way up to 70, then it will close me out, as you can see, at 70 up there. Um, oh, actually, I need to put the... I need to put 70 in on the hedge as well. Yeah, so 132.70. So what will happen is the hedge will close me out and the sh original shorts will close me out and I'll take that net, whatever it worked out, about £170, wasn't it? Something like that. So I'll take about £170 lost today. So if it goes firing up to one 132.70, it goes past 132.65, I'll get stopped out from my short here. That's at break even. And at 132.70, so all I'll end up doing is losing £170-odd for all this effort. But if it does roll over then while I'm out then it will release the, the hedge down here and that other short will get um, will get banked so that other short at 30 will get banked the hedge will get released because that's where it's, it's uh, stop is at 30 and then um, we've got to see if it can then carry on rolling down and not then come up if it comes down to 30 and then comes all the way back up then I will get stopped out and I'll take a larger loss today so um, Five six hundred pounds, I guess, something like that. So um, that's the the worst case scenario. The best case scenario is obviously the win, and it carries on rolling down, and then I'll make about fifteen hundred pounds or something like that today. I haven't calculated it completely, but it's, it'll be a decent day. Um, if it just comes up straight away here now while I'm out, then um, I'll lose about one hundred and seventy pounds. So those are the scenarios. Um, I'm going to head off out. We're fourteen minutes into this. Haven't done any other trading today, and we'll see what's going to happen. I'll press pause for now. Uh, just back, and as we can see, that the dollar CAD carried on going down while I was out, 
got close down to that 132.30 but not enough and it's come all the way up now and so let's bring this up because I'd moved that stop up if you remember so I've got 67 at the moment so that level that I shorted at 65 um, has now been stopped out at 65 for a minus three pounds loss because it was a little bit of um, that's where it's got stopped um, but obviously I'm fully hedged here on the other position so they look like they're about to get stopped we're at 67 now my stops at 70 so um, looks like they're gonna get stopped so I haven't lost any more just by sitting in that today. It's just a, um, so it's, a, it's going to be a small loss, I think, today. Um, but we'll see. I've got some news coming out at 1.30. We'll see what happens there. So I'll press pause for now. Right, just back. And as we can see, dollar CAD started coming up. And it has come up. And it's actually gone all the way up to 70, what, 5 at the moment. But a while ago, I was talking to the guys in the room here, because they're all, um, obviously, the trading rooms here. So let's actually bring the trading room up so you can see that. So um, we're all here. We've been here all day. And... Um, I was just um, saying, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, 10 minutes or so ago, it probably was. Actually, I think I'll move my stop because it doesn't really make any difference where I move my stop. I could move my stop another 100 pips higher and I won't lose any more money because I'm completely hedged. So let's, um, let's bring the account up. It's still at minus 176, which it's been since this morning. So... Um, so I've moved those stops out of the way a little bit, just in case, up to 132.90, just in case it, it just wanted to do, if we go to the hourly chart, a little bit of a flurry, because we had a lot of spikes around this zone, it, just in case it wanted to spike up a bit and then roll over. So it, and it doesn't cost me anything. I could put my stop up at 134, 135, whatever I wanted to put it at. It's not going to make any difference, but because um, ultimately I'm looking for that move back down. So I could even move my stop even above. I've got it put it at 132.90 at the moment. I could still move it way out there just to give it this scope within this overall pattern to do whatever it wants to do to the upside. And if it is going to then roll over, then um, I'll still be um, in the positions there for the, the ultimate rollover if, it, if it's going to happen. But, um, but I've moved it to 132.90 for now and um, maybe I'll just let, let it go and if it goes up to there just accept that okay it'll probably come down next week one day for that out 4 hourly 200 which is my overall target remember so let's just bring that up again. Um, that's where I want it to come down to. This is four out two hundred. But if it's going to start taking all the way into next week, then I might as well not be in it. So um, I've, I will just leave my stop there now. Um, so anyway, so that's um, that's where we are with this. So it's just playing around. I'm just going to see um, what's going to happen with it. It's been chopping around for several days. And so um, if we actually put this onto a daily chart, we can put it into perspective. Look at that. So. <laughs> so um, it's uh, not not my, one of my bestest of trades, but um, but protected. So certainly protected today, and it's not really costing me um, much if I lose today on this. So I'll carry on watching, and um, we'll come back to this later. Okay, just back now. Dollar CAD's sold off a little bit. It's into the five minute twenty one, which means it could bounce and just go all the way up to new highs. But do you know what? I've decided now. I'm going to release the hedge, and we're going to see if we can either make some money or not today. So in a minute. I'm going to release that hedge as we're coming up and then I'm going to move my stops down to the high. So um, I will then um, lose on the, um, um, you know, an extra 10 pips or so on the stops if I get the chance to release the hedge, hedge that is. But that's what the plan's going to be. So I'm just watching the screens off, off screen. Um, and so if I get the chance here um, or in the next you know, 10 minutes or whatever, I'm going to be looking for a bounce here up into this zone then I'm going to move my stops to here on the remaining stop and so I'm going to release this hedge, this is the hedge here and um, and then I'll do that so um, watch this space, we'll see if, and then and then if it goes up I'll just get stopped out, take the loss, I'll lose about £400 for the day if um, if I um, if it rolls over then um, then we'll see how we get on, we might start managing the trade, might start making it a little bit more interesting anyway so I'll press pause for now. And there. Okay, so we're getting really close here. So if we get to around about 65, that's what I'm looking for. Um, and then we'll see. We could come up to 70. Even if it does roll over, it could get very easy to go to 70 um, looking at this. But um, but anyway, so just um, watch this. Now I've pressed record. It's just slowed down. I want to see it go to 65. So I'm going to bank the hedge here. This is the hedge. So it's up a thousand odd dollars, but it doesn't make means it's meaningless. It's just the hedge. So. Um, 
I want to see if I can get this levels. Um, but now I've pressed record, it's slowed down, so I'll just press pause. Right, just back. Looks like we're about to release the hedge. Here we go, 65. Right, the hedge has been released. Okay, so um, I'll bring up the account now so you'll be able to see. Um, I'm just getting this all sorted out. Bear with me a second. Okay, so now I've released the hedge. So I've banked the profit on the hedge. And so if this goes up now, now, now I will go to, like I said, I don't know, um, 400 pounds or whatever it's going to be or maybe towards 500 pounds of loss um, if we come up and stop me out up there so however if we anything we if we start moving down then obviously um, um, I start making money or, or less uh, losing less on the uh, original positions um, and then um, but um, anyway we'll see could very quickly be over so that's why I wanted to get this in quickly so um, like I said stops at 76 well, it says 75 on here, which means I'll get stopped out at 76. And so very quickly, I'm going to find out if that's if it's going to happen. But um, rather than sitting on it forever, um, I've released that hedge. We put a reversal candle in on the um, on the hourly. Let's just see if that's going to work or if it's not. So um, we'll soon find out. It's been sat in this all day. Okay, so it's it's coming off a little bit here. So I'm going to move my stop down to this high now, just for just for another a few pips. Um, so just. Um, to reduce any potential loss that I'm going to have now this afternoon, I'm starting to um, uh, manage this out. So I'll put it in at 71 because uh, my broker here will, um, that means they'll stop me out at 72. Um, so I'm just starting to manage this this um, trade a little bit. And my wife's now calling, so I'll press pause while I'm doing all that. Okay, just back. I'm still sitting in this dollar yen, as we can see. It's still, oh, sorry, dollar cad. Um, it's going to be around about, I've estimated around about 290 loss on this one today. Um, um, that will be the net loss on the on the trade. I've um, been in it all day, um, but it's, it's just come back down. We just had some news here. It's what, 3 o'clock in the afternoon now, um, just after. And so just watching to see um, if it's going to come and get me. Um, it's very close to my stops here at 70. And we're sitting at 66, so we'll just see if that's going to stop out. So I'll press pause for now, and we'll come back to this. Okay, so we just, I'm just back. Very, very nearly, this is about to stop me out. Um, so I'll bring the account up. So remember, my stop's at 70. It's at 69 at the moment. I'm looking at a deal ticket. So there's a, there's a deal ticket. 69, but it needs to go to 70 on the on the bid. Um, but it will do that. There you go, 70 on the offer. We need to get to 70 on the bid. Um, we're seeing it on the chart as well off, off here. So very very nearly there we're just seeing 70 getting flicked on to 69 so we just need to see the left ticket go to 70 and then you will see these disappear that's what happens so it should just want to take me now and then it's it's been a long day just sitting in this one but um i know we were into pro i was into profit a short while ago when it when it pulled off but it wasn't enough it wasn't anywhere near, near you know um point of taking the profit so just left leave it alone and um, and see if it's um, going to run as it was at the time but at the moment it's looking like it's coming back up take the stop out and, um, and move on because well, that's the, always the weird thing because especially with traders is that um, when they're in profit like down here it was up about 70 pounds at this point I think it was when it was down here the account there's no point in taking it at that point because what happens if it then carried on um, and it also, even if it did and it reversed, um, like it has done, it just teaches you bad habits to take profits too soon. So you don't want to do that either. So you have to just stick to your plan, stick to your rules. And so once you once you've set out a plan and say, okay, where am I going to take profits if it happens? Okay, right, and then just hold for that. So at the moment, <laughs> just for us, I thought we were gonna <laughs> it's gonna come and take me out, and I still think it is, but um, it's all of a sudden taking its time again. So I'll press balls for now. Right, just back, and it has stopped me out. I estimated 290, and it is bang, bang on. That was a good guess. I knew it was roughly about there. Anyway, so after all of that, um, a whole day of sitting through this since this morning, um, the hedge was the right thing to do. It's um, meant the um, the trade as a whole was um, a lot smaller. Um, the loss as a whole was smaller, but um, um, but it, alas, it's not worked out. So um, I still think it will come down for that four-hour 200 at some point. But it's a choppy market. It may want to break up higher first now. I'm going to leave it at that. Have a great weekend, and I'll be back in touch next week.